is another roundtable discussion in our weekly get together with uh, three are uh, three more uh, stellar sports individuals here in uh, who the heck are we so i will be hosting this week this has been lance fernandez and joining me as usual are claudia perrin jay de la cruz and clara manzano so how uh, have you been guys throughout the week has it been productive has it been happy or what it's getting busy that's all i know well, thanks yeah, for you, busy. Jay, because you're joining the plastic balloon, or let's say uh, the bubble. <laughs> bubble. Oh. <laughs> no plastic balloon. Uh, it's not plastic balloon because Anna that's oh. for another. Uh, thank God, it's not the plastic yeah. balloon. Oh, this is plastic balloon bubble. But um, it's good to feel some normalcy that uh, more leagues are coming back. Exactly. Uh, more games are well being televised with. Uh, the impending resumption of the PBA. Mm-hmm. And of course, the Philippines Football League, then eventually it will come. Oh. They're now having their scrimmages. But for this week, we are talking about a different set of games, but still related to sports. So we are going to focus this week on video sports games. So because <laughs> so. esports is somewhat burgeoning as of the moment, we have a lot of leagues that are coming up. Even during the quarantine, because they are suitable for that kind of situation, all they need is a good internet connection and some computers running. But let's talk about the video games that are sports-themed that uh, have shaped us, that have evolved us, or has uh, possibly contributed to us being sports fans. So my first question would be to uh, kick the discussion going is... uh, what was the first uh, video, a uh, sports theme video game that you can recall playing or seeing, and you just got fascinated with the world of sports after that, that you can't get enough of it? So let's start with the youngest one in the, the, the foursome. So, si Claro. I would like to hear your thoughts para, regarding para this. This is going to really sound so obvious who's going to be asking the last, who's going to be answering the last one. <laughs> Either way, nostalgia. Yeah, let's just, let's just take, let's just, uh, take a trip down memory lane. Oh, regardless of the game. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be NBA Live 2003 in the PlayStation and in... Uh, no, tama, 2003. PlayStation, chaka, what do you call that? PS1 yun and PC. That's mm. where we yeah. really okay, okay. got into it. Mm. So, you know, I t- we talk at home and we say NBA, li- NBA Live 2003 is the best game for some reason because <laughs> it's the first, it really stuck with us. Tapos my patch pa, PBA Live 2003. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> so that's why oh, the game. I remember. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. The game stood out even more. So I was yes. doing things like Philippines versus Korea <laughs> on a difficult level mode already. PlayStation yeah. 1 to? Um, the, the PBA was in PC. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, it was PlayStation. A mod, eh? it, was a, it was a mod in PC. Eh, no? Yes. The, Young PlayStation, the, we just had storied battles na yeah. our brothers going up against each other. So, damning inside jokes that came from all our video games. <laughs> was that a bot? Was it a gift? The, the game? Um, well, I think when we got their PlayStation 1, it was secondhand. So there was a bunch of games. So it wasn't super new mm-hmm. at that time. Yeah. So that's how we got it. It came with like that package we were able to get from a family friend. You know, live 2003. Yeah. We bought that and put it into the computer. Mm-hmm. Did Maybe. you have you know, a problem with making it work? You know, usually with PS1, parang there are tricky moments we're in. Uh, CDs doesn't work at once, so we always wait for that. Uh, Inipan mo ba yung CD? Miraculous, <laughs> your miraculous screen. Oh and, yeah. Uh, when it appears, you know that it will work. So did yeah. it happen while playing uh, NBA Live 2003? Super. Lalo na when I got into Gran Turismo. <laughs> oh because yeah. Because that's another game that came. That's what made me love racing um, even more. So the thing with that PlayStation screen. Siyempre, palagi kami bad trip. Come on, that screen is not appearing. <laughs> and then you wipe the CD. If you wipe the CD and it doesn't work, alcohol, cotton, wipe. Even more, next level cleaning. I remember hearing, I overheard my dad 
saying, yeah, Clara knows how to clean the CDs. Don't worry. He just puts too much alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> just blow. But yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's during those moments that I feel uh, close to God because you pray a lot. <laughs> hoping that the Super. next screen will come out. And Jay, you were mentioning something a while ago, so uh, oh. let us jump to you. Oh, I have a question first kay Claro. Since he started, nagsimula siya sa NBA Live 2003. So Claro, you played NBA Live 2004 for sure. Oh yeah, we did. PC. So, would describe the controls between the two th- Live 2003 and 2004. Because <laughs> um, it's It's a ridiculous, it's a radical change actually in 2004. I just want to hear Clara's experience. Yeah. <laughs> Graphics pa lang. Kasi by then, our PlayStation was laid to rest already. So mm. naging PC na lang. Mm. And I don't know, our old desktop could not play 2004. So we had to put it in the new desktop. And for some reason, <laughs> the game will always crash. <laughs> we really tried to pull heaven and earth to make things work. Mm. And... Yes, there were new controls. Um, mm. I think the b- bottom line difference was there was a separate button for dunk and layup. Yes. Kasi dati isang mm. button It's lang so shoot. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh. So, I think the old one is stupid. Yung bago was, yung, the new one was good. Layup. What? Actually, no. PlayStation. Actually, no. PlayStation now is only one button. I agree with you, Sir Jay. <laughs> So it was it was weird it was weird because we figured out our own control style at home pero the the jumping graphics is really big also so we're like okay Aww. it's mm-hmm. gonna be tough if we're just gonna stick to our old units so 2004 wasn't a memorable memorable game for us unfortunately there's a time the hiatus came from playing <laughs> NBA live so, ang masaya kasi nun, di ba? ang masaya nun, if you Push na rong kasi. Back in live 2003, diba? You just have to run. Then push that shoot button. Towards a basket, it will lay up and duck automatically, diba? Yes. Pagdating sa live 2004, it's a radical change that you have to push a different button to do that layup or dunk. Mm-hmm. If you push that wrong button, for example, you're still at mid-court. And then you push that dunk or layup button. Anong gagawin nyo para magpo-floater siya mid-court? Diba? Parang ano? Mm-hmm. Yung gagawin parang, niya. Parang so, floater three pointer oh. need to wait for the win, di ba? Oh. So it's like bata pa si Steph Curry. No, an toddler pa lang si Steph Curry noon. Ginagawa na ng live 2004 yung ano. <laughs> yung ganung move na nagpa-floater ng three points near mid court. Because you push the wrong button. Mm-hmm. Isn't it coincidental that it happened after uh, LeBron and the guys went into the league? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they're trying to make it hard for a talent like LeBron to Oh, oh, to be played in uh, NBA. NBA Live. Anyway, uh, let's mm. continue the discussion with oh. you, Jay, since uh, you have jumped in already. Mm. So what's the first uh, sports-themed video game that you can recall? My very first one is, there's a WWF game sa family computer. Nun. I don't forget the title, but I remember the, the characters there was... Were Doink the Clown, Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon. John, oh, Razor Ramon. Uh, so, yun yung ano. That's that's my very first uh, recollection Hello. of video games, sports video games. Then you have Double Dribble, a family computer then. I don't oh, know if yes, you know that. Oh, yes, Double Dribble. It's a classic yes. game. I'm It's logo like Lillard double in dribble. Double Dribble, by the way. Oh, so yung, I will discuss it later, yes. The, yeah. the three-pointer that cannot miss in that corner spot. Yeah. Grab. <laughs> Walang mintes. Tapos, uh, sa Super Nintendo, my first encounter naman sa NBA Live was NBA Live 98, Super Nintendo pa nun. Then there were, uh, there was, that was a time where a lot of players is hindi pa sila ganun, uh, they're not really that uh, inclined to put their likeness sa video game. So, wala, I remember wala pa nun si Allen Iverson. Ang pangalan dyan, roster player sa Philadelphia 76ers noon. Mm-hmm. Michael Jordan is not de- was not there. Pangalan niya din doon, roster player. Then a lot other, of other players. So, ganun yung story sa Live 98. Sa Live 99, which is yun yung talagang pinakanaalala kong nilaro ko sa PC, wala rin doon si Michael Jordan. Roster player ang pangalan niya. Pero, rating niya 99 sa... <laughs> mid-range, inside the three-point arc. 99 mm-hmm. ang rating niya. So, he can't miss. And he must have been bald. Jump shot. Oh. 
<laughs> Pero pagdating sa 3 points, 61 na siya. ba? Diba? The difference of a foot when he's shooting a jump shot, ang laki ng binaba from 99 to 61. I can attest so, to that yeah. personally. Oh, diba? <laughs> oh. Uh, during, during those times, like NBA Live 98 and 99, the faces of the players are undecipherable pe, no? It's mm. not the graphics that we have right now. Eh. Oh, oh. Parang they name, let's say, uh, they name somebody this this guy and then automatically that's a dark skin figure if yeah. an American. Oh. So, hindi pa talaga desi- uh, decipherable yung ano nun eh. Sana yung, oh, oh. yung graphics nun eh. Pero, pero you love playing with it eh. Oh, I remember... Because that, because that was technology. That, oh. that time, technology na yun. Hindi ko maalala kung it was 98 or 99 na yung merong trick dun na if you hit the X button for an X number of times, automatic alley you. Hindi ko maalala kung 98 or 99 yun eh. Parang you just hit the X, X, and then everybody's passing the ball. And then eventually somebody <laughs> mag- will, will alley you. Oh. Bigla so, na lang lalabas doon. Oh, it's a matter of uh, timing. So I, I forgot 99. it's like 99 oh, 99. Ba? I 99. got the game years later and played it. Bigla yung pasa magiging air ball. <laughs> yung pala alley you. Oh, yung mga oh, ganun. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Parang if they're running the play and then eventually somebody will lob it and then somebody oh. will catch it if you ex- execute it successfully it's a two-pointer uh, alley-oop. So, yeah. oh. May masaya pa sa Live 99 actually eh. Yung intentional foul doon nakakatawa kasi makikita mo talaga yung player na motion niya yung tutulak. Mga ganun. <laughs> if you oh. keep pressing that intentional foul button ah, yes. you'll see that player just keep on pushing. Yes. I can remember a lot of players falling in that game. Oh, oh. <laughs> and diving. And, and kahit naka-on yung foul noon, kahit on naman yung foul, may tumatawag ng foul, there were instances na Tinutulak. parang yung, oh, pagtutulak, hindi, walang tatawagan ng foul. Eh, sa kanya parating yung bola. So, turnover, instant, hmm. walang tawag, tuloy yung play, di ba? Mala, ano, um, ano, mala, N, mala NBA jam yung itsura ng tulak. Hindi. Oo, oh, oh, yung, oh, 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 yung bad boys yung, doon. Oh. Tapos yung GM noon, magsusumbong doon sa video game, uh, formal <laughs> complaint. <laughs> That, uh... <laughs> not getting enough free throws. Not getting <laughs> enough free throws. <laughs> okay. We'll leave that to another episode, oh. ladies and gentlemen. So, Claudia, how about you? Sports team video games. Oh, um, my gosh. This is oh. going to make me so old. Okay. My first console was an Atari. Right? Classic. Classic. Oh. Then I remember playing tennis. Tennis, yun, yung, ano pa, yung tuk. <laughs> ano gamit yung joystick? Ano gamit man yung joystick? joystick the joystick. Oh, oh joy- that's the black joystick eh. The black joystick. Oh, oh. Fun, right? But the one that actually uh, made me get into sports was a Commodore 64. Not oh, sure. Man. Do you know what, what I'm talking what? about, Claro? A Commodore yeah. 64, the Summer Olympic Games. And I that's where I actually uh, got all my knowledge on diving. Yung twirl, somersault, uh, the uh, so Atari din yun. Degree... No, no, no. Commodore no, 64. No, Commodore na yun. Commodore 64. Commodore, okay. Commodore 64. Uh, a degree of difficulty. But was it a backward somersault? A front somersault? And ganun. So I actually uh, learned how to know the Olympic Games because of the Commodore 64. The butterfly in swimming, <laughs> archery, lahat in, 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 that, uh, in that game. It's a fantastic console. Yeah. yeah. It's, so fantastic. It's, a, it's a computer. It was a computer. Oh, so, oh. And your keyboard pa nun was the one where if, you, if there's a 100 meter dash, yung keyboard mo gaga, ay yung space, space yeah. bar. <laughs> Abusuhin mo. Yeah. The, faster, the faster you tap the, the, the keyboard, uh, the, the, the space, the faster the runner, no, the, the, the runner will run faster. So, mm. so, siguro ilang beses na kami nagpalit ng keyboard because of the space bar. <laughs> yeah, and maybe. During, during those times, you live and die with a keyboard. Eh. You yeah, you live and die. You don't have auxiliary joysticks before. Yeah. Eh. Oh. So, from there, yun. Commodore 64. And then we had the Nintendo. The first Nintendo. You know where uh, it's the... Uh, Game and Watch? No, wala po. Game and Watch? No, not no, no, no. And then, no, uh, uh, Famicom. Family right? computer. Family, the one with the uh, Duck Hunt. Oh, the NES, oh. Yeah, the old the one. NES, <laughs> the NES, NES, huh? NES, yeah, NES. Oh, the NES. Yeah. So we had that, and then that's where I remember, uh, what, uh, Punch Out of uh, Punch, my my guy, my Punch Out. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, so that also got me into boxing, you know. Oh. Yeah, and then of that's course. That's the Larusha sa Switch ngayon na. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's back, right? Oh, it's back. And then uh, then you had Sega, right? Mm-hmm. And then all, most of Sonic. all the, the sports that uh, sports game that you mentioned. But there's one s- sports, uh, there's one basketball game that you guys might help me remember, but it's it's a two-on-two game and their heads are big, right? Okay, John. NBA Jam, maybe maybe that, maybe and then, NBA Jam, yes. Yeah, and then you could only when when you shoot, let's say three, uh, no, like three consecutive shots. Every time you shoot the ball, me apoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. Yeah, he's on fire. Boom shakalak, yung mayo, boom sha. He's on fire. So kahit ang layu layu mo, sila nang inventa ng logo shot. Kada <laughs> log. So far, it will go in. So he's on yun. fire. Then John. Uh, the, the, you could choose. I remember the 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 ano pa, the players there. Wala ata si John Stockton and it was Malone and Hornacek. And then Do mm-hmm. Dumar. Basta it was always two. It was always two lang. And mm-hmm. that's I played when I the got Game to... Boy. Game Boy version of that, I think. There was, there was a Game Boy version ba? Yep. Yeah. There was that's even a Game team. Gear ver- version of that. Yeah. Yes. Sega Game oh. Gear. Mm. Yeah. And then eventually, then I also, uh, my brother and I, we, we bought the NHL, and then that's when mm-hmm. I also got into ano mm. into the Phil- Philadelphia Flyers. Ano pa yah Eric Lindros, so I remember watching that. And then after that baseball, na man, that's where I got to like the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, so so the, the sports um, console or the f- sports games, you know, they 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 helped me a lot. But the one that really helped me was the Commodore 64. I could still remember re- uh, watching the diving. Twirl, somersault, in backward, backward, and then back, backward somersault. Mm. Degree of difficulty, mm. galing yun. How, how yeah. was the graphics back then? It was like, was it like Atari graphics? Oh, the, same the, question. They, they stick. They didn't sell a stick. They're actually human. So, parang for us, parang wow, de ba? Parang you know, <laughs> but it wasn't. It wasn't Atari yet. Atari was, ano, was was awesome because at that time, parang ano yun eh? Ro- may, may robots pa. Eh. You play the oh. ano? Ma-search nga sa YouTube yun mamaya. <laughs> curious ako. Curious ako. Ang sarap ng Atari. I hope they bring it back. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, it was one of the iconic consoles before. I remember we had Atari before we were just playing Pac-Man to death. Yeah. <laughs> For hours. <laughs> Mga ngalay yung thumb mo kakapindot ng red Space button. Space Invaders. Kakakandi no, no. mo siya, no? Oo. Oh. Pong, Pong, that's it, Pong. I remember. Yeah, it was the Pong. first ever video game, yes, Pong. Pong, yes, that's it. Yeah. It's like the uh, brick game table tennis eventually. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was, I think I played a version of that. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just two. Oh. It's just two sticks. Tick, tick. Yeah, tick. Something like that. Yeah. And then and then you can turn into a robot, and every time it hits it, it turns, it twirl, twirls, and then. <laughs> yeah, if you're playing against a computer, yeah, it always has its cheats. Yeah, de ba? Yeah. Pong, so, oh, yeah. Di mo naman matatali yun eh. Kapatid <laughs> when you play the computer. Yeah. But yeah. and then eventually you have the fighting games, you know, like yeah. uh, we'll get into the fighting games uh, a little bit later. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um NBA Jam has its special place for me because it's one of the most enjoyable games in terms of basketball. It's a if breath of fresh air because it's not 5 on 5. There are um special effects that will make you go wow. Like uh, the scorching net or <laughs> the dunk that we're in, uh, they jump to the rafters and then they go down, and it's just two points anyway. <laughs> but um, the 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 one the one player that I always remember with NBA Jam is Dennis Rodman. So again, the graphics then are not as advanced advanced as right now, mm. but you always knew it was Dennis Rodman because the color of the hair is different. I knew it. <laughs> he was he was with Spurs panone. Eh, Young Green. Uh, so <laughs> whenever he plays, the color of the hair is always different. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh. That's right. <laughs> So, first recollections of video sports games. Again, punch out. Um, I was fascinated with how big the Mike Tyson figure is. And then you're this small figure that you have to reach for the head of Tyson. Yeah. Just to be able to knock him out. <laughs> so, it's still my lifelong mission. I never did it. So, if I will have a chance to... You never have, Mike Tyson? Never. Nintendo it, Switch. Yes. Really? I, yeah, never. Um, by a Nintendo Switch. I tried <laughs> time and time again, but I haven't. So, uh, it's one of my bucket list. So, even though I've Mike been... Uh, by a Nintendo older. Switch. So, 
we'll consider the Nintendo Switch if we now have financial uh, stability yeah. because you know, yun, it's eh. a there's pandemic. a pandemic. Dance- yeah, there's there's a certain yeah. um with those old video games there's a certain pattern. Oh, but for pattern. some reason I haven't gotten the pattern to defeat Mike Tyson. So I never yeah. did. They call it game theory. You figure out how things work lang yeah. in the game, <laughs> the loop. Especially during the games during that period there is really a sequence of motion. Yeah, there's a sequence. That's why the best ones they really memorize this will happen this time so yeah. I have to jump or something. So Never really had the achievement or the pleasure of defeating Wait, the Mike Tyson man. character in uh, Punch Out. So, Nalala if I, the uh, character na ano, that to beat him, his shorts have to fall, and then you have to hit his. You have to hit. His, <laughs> remember? Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> the character. Yeah. 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 And, and for some reason, it's so enjoyable hitting super, that part of the super. body. Hmm. That's Wait. not a blow blow. That's good. Buy a switch. Okay, his, <laughs> his shorts fall, eh, de ba? Mm, his shorts fall, and you have to hit. It. That's his uh, Achilles heel. That yeah. part of the body yeah, that we cannot uh, name uh, explicit. Uh, we have to yeah. keep it in secret because, well, we are still uh, for all audiences. So yeah. Jay nah, is flashing out. But Punch <laughs> out. Is that the original version? Is, yes. Is that still the Mike Tyson one? Oh, oh it's the original version, apparently. So That's one low blow. So for That's those who are con- okay, so for those who are considering to buy Switch and are sports fans, that could be a, an additional reason to purchase. Aside from Animal Crossing, so you have Punch <laughs> Out. And, but the uh, one game that I really enjoyed is Tech Mobile, and mm. I would always, I would always play the Los Angeles Raiders because, um, <laughs> not pakadaya. Napakadaya ng Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. No. <laughs> Bo, uh, for some reason, the the developers only place one play for Bo Jackson because madaya na if he had two. So if you set the if you set the quarter to let's say two minutes per quarter or so, you can just give Bo Jackson the ball, run around the field for the entire two minutes before scoring a touchdown, and nobody can tackle. So, oh, yeah, Jay is flashing. Game. We know that yeah. you have a Switch. So, <laughs> Jay has a collection of uh, old sports video games in his uh, Nintendo Switch. So, I enjoyed oh. um, Tech Mobile in the old uh, Nintendo device console. Oh. So, we had a rule before that uh, with my friends, nobody can use the Raiders. So, <laughs> what will happen is, what will happen is, I will, I will pick your team, you will pick mine. And usually we will pick teams of equal talent. And what's fascinating then with Tech Mobile, it's uh, it's pre Madden, eh? uh, mm. It's it's tacky graphics. It's uh, the graphics are incomparable with what we have right now. But the sound of the game and uh, the the playthrough itself, it made you feel football during that time. And there were also players who did not have names, so. Mm. Randall Cunningham oh. was QB Eagles. He was the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles, pero his name did not QB Eagles. Did Just did not reflect. Eagles. Parang roster player. <laughs> yeah, like roster player ni yeah. Michael Jordan. Also Bernie Kosar of the Cleveland uh, Browns. QB Browns lang yung nakalagay. Mm. Hindi nakalagay yung pangalan nila. Mm. Cleveland so Browns those... naman eh. Oh. Well, okay, okay lang. It's a <laughs> it's a revolving door of players. But in the 80s they were super Wait, they were one of the contenders the in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. If not but for uh, unfortunate incidents like the drive and the fumble and mm. you know, yeah, all were, sorts yeah. of things. Oh. Yeah. But you know, if mm-hmm. anything, that is one thing that I appreciate in American football because siguro ordinary sports fans, but not, lalo na mga Pilipino, they, they find it a hard time appreciating yung American football because when you watch it, it's pretty dragging, diba. Right? American no, football? I mean, so, in that oh, sense, ano, it's a no, TV it beca- sport. It becomes dragging until somebody Think gets injured. Oh, it's dragging kasi <laughs> diba, there's a very few action tapos that 35 or 40 second time na magsiset up, magdodraw up sila ng play, diba? Tapos lilinya pa. Mm-hmm. Tas, parang hindi tuloy-tuloy action, palagi napuputol. Remember yung usapan natin na the play always gets dis- disrupted noon. Mm-hmm. That is something that that is pretty difficult to appreciate if you're mm-hmm. a sports tulad, tulad ko. Pero, once you play like Tech Mobile or Madden, that's the time where I enjoyed American football actually. 
Kasi di ba, when you play Madden, di ba ang usual na mangyayari doon is bago mag-set up play, ang daming ano, play charts, di ba? Mamimili yeah. ka kung anong play i-run mo. Yeah, yeah. Tapos, of course, kung di kung bago ka pa lang sa game na yon, eh di, pili ka lang kahit anong play. Tapos, mag na yung play. Mga na, na, mag snap na, kuha ng quarterback. Tapos, eventually, may inis ka kapag laging ira-rush lang, di ba? Yung ipapasa lang doon sa rushing, ano niya. Doon sa ta- itatakbo lang yung bola. May inis ka na. Di ka maka-first down. So, eventually, pag naghalap ka na ng play, palagi mong hanapin yung mga pasa. Diba? The Hail Mary shot. The Hail Mary. Oh. <laughs> pag, pag port down ka na. Pag port down. Tapos, malayo pa yung pangat. Tipong 70 yards ka pa. Hanapin mo na Hail Mary, di ba? Tapos, pag nakuha, pag na-complete yung play, tuwan-tuwa ka naman, di ba? <laughs> and then, and you need an OBJ catch to get it after. <laughs> Yun nga eh, di ba? But that's different. That's, that was a difficult So, it's either act, a catch so... or an interception. Usually, interception, no, di ba? Yung so, minsan nga, kahit first down eh, ano ka eh. Long pass ka eh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's you playing the game anyway. So, kahit first down, first and ten. Sige, long oh. pass tayo, ganyan. Hindi naman oh. naman kalaw. Oh. Sige. So if, anything, yeah. oh, so if anything, yun nakakatuwa sa football that made you appreciate the game of football because you understand that lag kung bakit wala nangyayaring play kasi the teams, you get you got to know that are drawing a place then. Mm-hmm. So kung ikaw naglalaro, ikaw yung coach, oh, ganito gagawin nyo. That's when you see that play come to fruition, ay masaya ka. Diba? Sometimes yeah. it takes a few seconds to transmit a play from the coach to the receiving, yeah. the, the, oh, the radio pa. receiver of the, mm. the quarterback. The quarterback always doing this. Oh. Uh-huh. And then yeah. they have the plays here. Pero meron nun sa Madden, tatawa, naalala ko sa PS1 nun na parang ang bagal nung takbo ng isang uh, wide receiver na hinahanap mo, ba't nandiyan ka pa? Hindi ka pa umaabante. <laughs> Tapos ikaw frustrated na may babato mo na yung controller. Diba? Merong ganun eh. Yeah, yeah some, some glitches. Uh. Oh. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll discuss glitches for uh, oh, we'll discuss glitches later. Uh, uh, yeah, before we we uh, jump into our next topic, uh, one more game that I haven't mentioned pala and this has profound influence also with me. Combat Basketball by Bill Lambeer. Yon! Actually, that's so, why. Meron nun? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that sounds so a thing. perfect so, for him. Yeah, perfect for him. So it was what? it was it was developed essentially when the Bad Boys version 1 was were kings of the basketball world. Yeah. So imagine NBA Jam but more violent in terms of what you can do with your opponent. Much much more. So violent. the, the okay. title says it all, Combat oh, Basketball. Yes. You can look it up. I'm not sure if it's playable or you can download it on PC right now but uh, I'd like to try that. Bill Limebeer's and, Combat Basketball. So and Bill Limebeer agreed to that. Well, that okay was their that was their yeah, calling yeah. card. That's yeah, their oh. that's their that's their call to fame. And, and the NBA exactly. agreed to that. Of course, I'm not sure. Olakad, I'm not sure. Olakad if, lang ni Bill Lane beer yon. Olakad. Um, I'm not sure if it was NBA license oh. essentially, but okay, they yeah, used the lakad, name of Bill Lane beer. Oh, bakalakad lang ni Bill Lane beer. Yun. Personal, yeah. yeah. But he got a lot of money out of it due to uh, sponsorship and endorsement. But uh, it's an enjoyable game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If you have a chance to play it, combat basketball. Put it in your uh, to to playlist if uh, you may. If you have free time, <laughs> try dabbling into it. And uh, as long as you do not translate the violence, violence. in real life, ngan laro lang. Oh, Super Nintendo. I googled it. Oh, yeah. That one. <laughs> patayan dyan eh. The hell? Okay, so speaking of patayan oh. and kill, so Kodja mentioned about fighting games. And now that there is uh, a scene, pro scene, when it comes to Tekken 7, which is a fighting game. Yeah. And essentially, fighting games, they had their own era. Eh? They had their time of its own. Eh? Yeah. Wherein everybody was playing the fighting games and almost uh, all of the best titles that came out are fighting games. So let's reminisce about those fighting games for uh, our next topic. And uh, I would like to uh, get a quick survey or a poll from the three of you. Are you more of a Street Fighter fan or a Mortal Kombat fan? (laughs) And why? Oh, that's what you do between the two? Uh, yeah. Uh, wow. If if uh, let's say if you can play one game 
Like for the rest of your life, let's say. Would it be Street, street Fighter? Fighter? I'll go Street Fighter. I say, But I like street Mortal Fighter. Kombat's uh, finishing move. Finish him. <laughs> that which one, was, right? Yeah, which was violent at its time, yeah. by the way. And then you had to choose. You had to find pa the, the, com- the combination to have that finishing move for every player. Like Scorpio. And I forgot. And then what's it, the guy with the, with the Vietnamese hat? Si Raiden? Or si Liu Kang? Yeah, Raiden. Raiden, Lightning. Raiden, 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 yeah. right? And then Ice. There's a guy named I. I forgot. Sub Zero. Sub Zero. Sub Zero. And then, di ba, magkapatid pa sila or something. But... Uh, but, but, the, but why why Street Fighter? Why why? why? <laughs> Because it was the first uh, first fighting game I, I I recall playing, and then uh, and I I, I I like Ken. Oh Ken! Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ken, and then um, Chun Li, of course. Chun Li. Mm-hmm. Chun Li, yeah, and then uh, see. Oh, what's his name? Dal Sim, gusto mo? No, Dal Sim, no. Not Or E Honda. <laughs> oh, not E Honda. Oh, what's his name? Uh, the Brazilian guy. Blanca. Uh, Blanca. Blanca. Yeah, Blanca. Uh, yeah. The, ro- the rolling attack. Yeah, and then the electrocution, you just press the, a single button and he's just like, <laughs> you know? So it was pretty easy to uh, to actually play Blanca. And then Chung Li, ganun din. You just press, ano, ma- ma- a thousand kicks siya, di ba? So, So, ako si Ken uh, uh, compared to Rio. Like Street Fighter. Yeah. yeah. Since you mentioned Ken, uh, sing it na natin shout out Ken Pangilinan and Dino Lee of uh, For the Love of the Game. Yeah. So, shout out to you. Shout out to you guys. The middle of the segment. Branching yeah. out from Ken. <laughs> yeah. So, Jay, how about you? Street Heat Fighter up. or Mortal Kombat? Heat up. I'm torn. Claro, I passed you the ball. <laughs> Okay, so I can medyo mahirap because I think I have some Street Fighter experience just playing the game. Mortal Kombat, yes, I did hear of it. Maybe I tried it, but I didn't, you know, it didn't stick. So just between the two, maybe Street Fighter. But what really stuck was Tekken. Mm-hmm. Wala pa si Tekken, wala pa sa choices si Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for me, that's what sticks up first. Late si Tekken eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was later. Yeah. Yeah, but a, a fighting game I really liked. Ano, cartoons na eh. Digimon Rumble Arena. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like What you would that? really fight. It's Imagine you control Poke. Digimon was the kalaban of Pokemon. It was the thing. Yeah, Digimon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... You guys just lost me there. <laughs> that was the fighting... That was the fighting game we'd use a lot. Like legit. There was like, even... Wow. um. What's yeah? What's his Dragon name? Ball na lang, pwede pa. Dragon Ball was went in. Went into the picture. That was like right before Digimon. There was a Dragon maybe. Ball fighting game also before it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's when Tekken came in or something. Yeah. yeah. So, right, about, yeah. Right, right about that time. Right, right about that time, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So yeah, I, I go Street Fighter. Street Fighter. My experience there, I feel. Yeah. So Jay, have you made up your mind already? Mortal Kombat. Okay. <laughs> no. Because it's eh, Street Fighter. Although I enjoyed playing Street Fighter. Paporito ang ginagamit ng si Dalsim because he's a walking cheat code. Yeah. Di, di ka makakalapit pag gumahaba na yung braso niya, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kahit sino pa gamitin mo, kahit si M. Bison pa gamitin mo, wala. Hindi, hindi nila matatalo si Honda once sumaba yung mga galamay niya. Yung... Honda or Dalsim? Hmm? Si Dalsim, si Dalsim. Honda uh, is the hundred hand slap. Oh. Honda is that? Uh, the, 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 yung mabilis. Tapos si Dalsim, meron pa siya kung ano. Bubuga pa siya ng apoy. Si Dalsim. He has a bad case of bad breath na nagiging apoy. So, if the extended arms and legs didn't didn't work, you could go, you could use an alternative. Si Mortal Kombat, ah, it's a hard choice. You already no. said Mortal Kombat. Kaya nga, Nick. Yeah, you chose. Oh, Mortal, oh, Mortal, Mortal yeah, you, Kombat. You, you mentioned in the beginning. Kaya nga, pero kinuwento ko si Street Fighter, di ba? Oh. <laughs> Yung Street Fighter nga, my cousin, born and raised in the States, I think they had like a World Cup. I think it was Street Fighter. Yeah. There's like a World Cup in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And, and the mm-hmm. combination, the combinations of the of the game, of the pattern pie is, is, is yes. pretty good. Yeah, so that's why the oh. Hadouken is, up, is a check. Diba? Yeah, may ganun uh, that you have to figure out personally for yeah. which fighter. Uh, And then pero, this cousin of mine, uh, ano, my World Cup, he beat this guy. 
And then my cousin eventually got um, eliminated in the tournament. Shout out, Manong James. I hope you guys are safe in the <laughs> States. This guy he beat worked his way up the loser's bracket. And the guy eventually became like the champion of that wow. World Cup. But oh, nice. the, the game was new. So wala pang, I think game theory. Wala pang game theory or people weren't mm-hmm. mastering things here and there. So, so the playing field was just to your ano, basic gaming instincts, we yeah. could say. Yeah. Mm. That's so how competitive mga, it gets. Ito yung mga time na wala pang mga Akuma sa Street Fighter. Wala pa. <laughs> it's like version 1, like Ken Ryu, uh, Chun-Li. Ken Ryu, Chun-Li pa siya. Blanca. Vega, Blanca. Vega. Uh, and Bison. <laughs> and Bison. Zangief. Zangief. That, that's the first generation, di ba? Yan yan oh, eh. And then eventually, likely. the likes of the Akuma. Yan yeah. yung mga second. Di ba si Vega was the second boss? I had to get Vega and then si... Bison. Vega and Bison. then... Di ba? I believe there was Sagat pa before Bison, di ba? The, the thigh... Was it? it was, was it three before... There was still two Sagat before Sagat is a casual character. He's as useless as Zangief. But she's... <laughs> Actually, oh, I agree. Uh, but si Vega was up there. Vega was up there. Oh, Vega. Oh, yeah. Oh. I remember. Yeah, because it's hard to catch his moves uh, with the fence. He just bounces around the screen and then you have to catch him. Yeah, and that's why may, ano, diba? Wolverine, ano? Wolverine, um... Yeah, the claws, yeah. Claws. And the, oh, the mask, yes. The yeah, the mask. Oh. And then, yeah. if you beat him, natatanggal lahat. Diba? Yung pala, gwapo siya. Mm-hmm. Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos ang, ang, cheeky ng gra- ang cheeky ng graphics na na whoever loses may duguan yung mukha eh, no? oh. Oh. Lang, eh. parang din mo sila parang ano no? parang isa lang yung naupakan eh, no? although parang oh. sila nagsuntukan oh. parang sila nagsuntukan pero isa lang yung may dugo Lama. basta bad trip yung loser yung loser graphic the loser's oh. graphics yeah mm. sonic boom di ba sinig- yes. so, some of the Gail, oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with Jay and uh, before I uh, give my judgment. I agree with Jay that uh, Zangief is one of the more useless characters. He just throws people around. He is useless. <laughs> and uh, the boxer Balrog is that one. Although there's power in his punch, his sliding punch, uh, it's oh. it's easy to counter his moves. Eh. Mm. So I enjoy Street Fighter, but the way I look at the two games, Street Fighter is more of like the the cleaner. Well, the clean, if there's such a thing, a cleaner fighting game. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's true. true. That's true. Mas cheesy yung graphics. Ganyan. <laughs> mas, mas for popular audiences siya, for wider audiences. Uh, I enjoy Guile, using Guile a lot. Especially Sonic yung, ano niya, yung Sonic Boom. Mm. Tsaka yung, ano, yung nasa area siya, yung parang somersault. Oo, oh, yung gaganan. comes out. Oo. Uh-huh. Yung mga favorite moves ko nun eh. Pero, uh, being the brutal person that I am, I enjoy Mortal Kombat more. Finish. Kasi, Uh, I've been a Liu Kang boy ever since. So, ang dali kasing dayain na nga, ano eh, di ba, pag 3 to 1 fight, may bicycle kick ka agad. Oh. Ka. So, automatic, <laughs> first strike ka. So, oh. naka, isang button lang yun na i-hold mo for like 5 seconds and then, pag sinabing fight, release mo, may bicycle kick ka na kagad. Tapos, <laughs> upper ka. Time so, ano, dag, bawas ka kagad dun sa kalaban. Tapos ano ka na lang, fireball ka na lang, fireball, ganyan. And his scream was entertaining, uh, di ba? Yes. Oh. <laughs> parang, parang pabo, di ba? <laughs> And then, something ano that I... Ano yung finishing move niya? Parang, um, ang ano niya, ang... Fatality. Fatality, Fatality niya, niya. he becomes a dragon. Tapos he eats the head of... Oh. So, sorry for those who are eating uh, while we are, <laughs> if you're going to watch this up, uh, uh, while yeah. eating so sorry Pasintabe uh, he becomes a dragon and then he devours the I head of I don't remember the... that oh my god oh. si Scorpion naalala ko sumasabog yes. may ginagawa siya tapos sumasabog yung Ah, uh, no. yung kalaban and then uh. it becomes bones and skulls parang ano yes. yun eh yung, yung lalabas sa kamay niya parang lalagyan niya ng asido yung ano yes. yung tao kaya sasabog ng gano'n oh. Sub-Zero Sub-Zero magiging, magiging yun, frozen tas mm. they broke yeah, yeah. tsaka ano oh. rin um, uh, kaya may ano ko may inclination ako towards Mortal Kombat because of the Toasty Man parang enjoy lang pag lumalabas yun Toasty ganyan pag nakagawa ka ng, <laughs> ng like 5 oh, hit 7 oh, oh. hit combo di ba oh. kasi lalabas doon sa ilalim wow I've done something good And, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tapos ano um, I uh, well syempre you were a young guy before so it brought me satisfaction defeating Shao Kahn Shao Kahn 
So mm. parang ano ka na, uh, tapos may cheeky na text na you are now protector of all realms, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> so, ano lang, parang so, just let, a milestone in my oh, life. Oh, one more thing about Mortal oh Kombat. One more thing about Mortal Kombat. Their characters are based sa totoong tao. Kahit yung itsura nila, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Parang picture ng totoong tao. Compared to Street Fighter, they're based on cartoon characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As a, oh, until nung ginawa yung movie na Street Fighter. Remember yung mm. si Van Damme, John Claude Van Damme? Yeah. Start yeah. as a child. Johnny Cage pa ata siya nun eh. Oh. Oh. So Johnny Cage was Mortal Kombat. Johnny Cage. I so know. Mortal... Yeah. Dito, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So Mortal Kombat talaga, they're really actual people talaga. Like Johnny Cage, Chore ni Jax, Liu Kang looks like a Vietnamese. <laughs> diba? Si yung mga Sub-Zero, yung mga nakamas, those mask guys, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Smoke. ba? Diba? Americano, tapos si Motaro, talagang half Motaro. man half yes. horse talaga siya, di ba? <laughs> yeah. It was a, that was Motaro a really good and character. Goro. Yeah. Oh, Goro. So Ang pangalan on, ng babae doon sa Mortal Kombat? Shiva. Shiva? There's a lot. There's Milena. Hey, there's, Shiva, there's, there's, there's si Sonya. Sonya Gray. Oh, Sonya Gray, yun. Oh, they're they're really Johnny human Cage. beings. Mm-hmm. Oh, yun yung nakatawa sa Mortal Kombat. And funny that Jay mentioned those names because those are some of the more worthless players or characters Johnny in Mortal Cage. Kombat. Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. Cage. Oh my God. Jax. Jax. Yan. Striker. One... Yan, yun yung mga... Jax the one hand na may... I know, Striker is useful kasi... May... Sino, sino? Sino? Striker. Si Striker kasi namamaril siya. Long Pero during, siya. during the first editions of him being in the game, the gun was not useful. Parang palamuti lang yung baril sa kanya. <laughs> Jax, isa pa yan. Bina- parang Zangief lang siya na Ay, throws people lang. around. Ngayon. Di ba, Stop this, my game changers. Electricity. Raiden. 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 The one with the Vietnamese hat, the straw hat. That's it. That's the, the guy. guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raiden. Oh. Yeah. He was played by a Filipino apparently. Remember in the in the movie or something? Is this the There's dancing some guy? Capoeira. Something? No. Um. Oh, that's different. That's. Uh, yeah, I remember. Second. 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 I remember it that it's a uh, it's actually a TV series. when they translated uh transform Mortal Kombat into a TV series. Yeah. Paolo, Paolo Montalban. Yes, you, him. Feel, yeah. Um, yeah. Not sure if he played the. Uh, He was Liu Kang in the series. Ah, Liu Kang sure. ba siya? Okay, okay. Oh, pero yun nga, Phil Lam. Yeah, mm. yeah, I remember so, that. So, si, si Paolo Montalban. I remember yeah. I remember watching that in Channel 2 eh. Parang after yata. I'm not sure if it was after the Highlander or before. Parang ganun yung TV schedule nun eh. Yeah, so, I remember that. I remember, I remember. Oh. So, It was a big hype. It was such a big hype. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trusting my rusty memory pero parang ganun yung TV schedule ng Channel 2 before. Parang Highlander and then the Mortal Kombat. Hapon yun. Shout out to ABS-CBN. Uh, how- <laughs> So we will uh, wait for your return and we know that it will happen. It will yeah. happen. Hashtag mm-hmm. the return. So uh, we, after reminiscing uh, for a few minutes about fighting games, we uh, jump into another topic that uh, made us essentially winners and champions in these games. So if you can recall, if there are any, who were your glitch players? Be it in <laughs> NBA your, Live, your ano ba, to- F- FIFA... Uh, pro evolution soccer what not who are the players were in you know they were not really the best in in terms of the real sport when they play i mean the real guys but it just so happened that when you control them in the game you score 80 90 you score five goals so, so who were those players oh, for gosh, you so i have i have some but i'll let you guys divulge who were your glitch players before I can remember some. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Uh, sa, on that old WWF game, uh, I can remember si Razor Ramon. Razor kasi, Ramon? No, kasi what Razor Ramon does is... Diba? Yung, yeah. Oh, yung chop niya, di ba? Yung, yung actual chop niya, yung, yung, slap, yung back slap. Pagdating sa, pagdating sa actual video game, para siyang nagiging ano, laser na spada. And you can do it over and over again. So, pag ganun mo lang ganun nun, makikita mo na nahihilo na si Doink the Cloud. <laughs> pwede mo na gamitan ng <laughs> ano. Pero mas Doink the Cloud. Oo. So, pwede mo na siyang gamitan ng special move nun. Tapos, NBA Live 99, definitely Michael Jordan or roster player. Just don't make him shoot three-pointers. 
Mm-hmm. You'll get you'll get 80 points from the low post or mid range, but you'll get zero points at three point area. Kaya don't make him shoot uh, three pointers. Okay. Bagsak yung rating niya for three, sir, ba, sir? It's only 61. 61 sabi mo. Oh, 61. Wow. 61 lang. Unbelievable. I, rem- I remember the pushback during that time well, with the gamer friends that I knew. Kaya tuloy uh, after that. Bakit 61 lang yung three-point shooting ni Jordan? <laughs> Parang dapat overall, oh. he's one of the best. So, yeah. so he took it, they so he took it personally. That. Yeah, he should, <laughs> they should have bumped the numbers higher. I'm sure he took it personally oh. after that. He <laughs> You know the best ones, they always find motivation in anything against yeah. them. Anything. Exactly. Yeah. How about you, Claro? Any glitch oh, player? Oh, see. Go ahead. Okay, muna. okay, glitch player. First, before glitch player, we found a glitch in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. That was a game I also enjoyed in childhood. Okay. Um, In this map called College, where you, you know, mm-hmm. you're just skating and there's ramps all over. I bumped into a corner in the perimeter wall. <laughs> And then it's like he was in limbo. Okay. Another another world. And then my point my point just kept going up and up and up <laughs> all the way. So I was set. I won the game. Like that's against my, my against my like real big cheat. That's a that was a real glitch. cheat. That's yeah. a glitch. <laughs> yes. Parang nawala ka sa ano? Nawala ka. You defied the law of physics. Yeah, you did it dimension. unintentionally. It's not within your control. It just so happened within the game. There's a glitch no. in the system. Yeah. And then. Sometimes we try to do certain challenges to unlock things, and then we we try bumping to that wall, and it did work a few times. <laughs> so it's not just with Tony Hawk; it's a thing in the game. So that was a re- that was a really memorable. But speaking of a glitch player, for me, it's in NBA. I can only use the Houston Rockets for some reason. Okay. Like when we play at home. Um, Okay, I'll use another team, but you see that I'm not at my best. I have to use the Houston mm-hmm. Rockets oh, for really? some reason. But there's a really dumb story to why they became my team in a way, video game related. But for me, I have to use them, but I think they're an easy to use team, it seems, in the video games because they have dunkers and shooters. So this is regardless of version of NBA Live or NBA 2K. Um, so ride or die, ride or die rockets, Catalan. With NBA Live, maybe I can get away with the Lakers. Oh, oh, Claude's favorite team. Okay. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I will I, unrecord wait. this. Actually, oh, no. actually, so Live ninety nine. You know what's who's the most powerful team there? It's not the Chicago Bulls. It's the Indiana no. Pacers. Yes, Reggie Miller. Reggie. Yeah, because oh. ninety nine yun yung nawala na si Jordan sa ano de ba sa yes. Bulls. Oh, yeah. Nine, yeah. And it, no. They base it on 98 rosters. 98 the 99. roster, yun, no? oh. 98 roster. That's the last championship of the Bulls. Pero the roster that time, Reggie Miller, Chris Mullin, Mark Jackson, Bill Davis, Rick Smith. Then sa bench mo, may Antonio Davis, got Jalen Rose, Dele. Travis oh, yeah. Best. It's a powerful team. Yeah, it was. Oh. Reggie Miller. Yeah. yeah Jalen yeah. Rose. May naalala ko. Yun. Okay, yan. Just quick one. Shaquille O'Neal, NBA Live 2003. It's a walking glitch. <laughs> oh, he's yes. a sure two Especially points. at the post. Especially yes. at the post. <laughs> How oh, pagatas ng rating ni Lahat si Lahat itrasan niya. Mm. Tapos, if his defender is il- already in that no charge zone, he just rise up for the slam. Tapos. Pero wala pa no charge zone dun. No, meron na. Ano 2003. Wala pa. 2003. Wala meron na. Pa. Uh, in the video the game at least. Maybe oh, wala. the video game. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Malinis yung, key, yung, ano, yung paint that time. Oh. In the NBA Live 2003, may no charge zone ano. Or basta, just a certain area, mga tipong 8 feet away to the uh, basket. Tapos inaatrasan mo yung ano? Inaatrasan mo yung defender mo. For example, kahit Ben Wallace. Si Ben Wallace yung bantay ni Shaq nun. Atrasan ni Shaq. Pag malapit na siya sa rim, uh, tatalo na lang siya. Sick. Pang sabay dang kagad. Now that's a walking glitch. <laughs> Or he's just that good. <laughs> 2000, 2000, that powerful? 2003 ba yung ano? Yung nagkaroon ka ng specialty sa NBA Live. Like, they really identify the players like Wala pa. No Baka post. 2004, yung mga, mga high ganun, flyers. Yung like shooter. Oh, ganun. Yeah. And then, meron na sa 2003 noon. Meron na. Yung may shot blocker, three-pointer. Yeah. Akil yata was power eh, no? Oo. Hmm. Ah, those. 2003, apat pa lang yun. Yes. Knockdown those defender. were icons under the player. 
Yes, there was oh, icons. Ganun yun eh. More icons yeah. under the player. For speed, it was like a like the in flash. Lightning na, bolt. Lightning bolt. Oh, yeah. 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 And then next oh. step up sa 2004 where you can change the player mode, scorer, shooter. Like if you're a shooter, your player will make a set shot when you press a special button to add to shoot, or scorer, acrobatic. Oh. oh. 2004 na yun, the next year. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. How about you, Claudia? Glitch players. Glitch. <laughs> I don't have glitch players because, like, like, um, like, uh, claro. Like for the FIFA, I would always go to Arsenal. You know, okay. in, um, that's where I, I started liking Dennis Bergkamp, Thierry Henry, yeah, and Campbell. That's where I, mm. I started playing them. But oh, this is really out of topic. But glitch players, if not glitch, it's a code. I'm not sure if you remember this. Remember? My codes, yeah, in my video games. Yeah, yes. what the Konami code? Up. Game Shark, ganyan, no? Yo. Game Shark. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, yeah. right. <laughs> BA select, select start. start. Oh. oh so yeah, and then, then you get what? Uh, uh, extra. Thirty lives yata, eh, thirty ba? Thirty ba? Oh, thirty yata yun eh. Oh. Combat di ba? <laughs> Kung namatay ka pang thirty. Before the, <laughs> ano, before the end of the game. Yeah. Pero, Pero, hmm. yeah, so that I don't really have much of a glitch. No, I, I can't I can't put a name. Oh, I have yeah. a glitch player. Okay, um, go ahead. Older go ahead. 2K. Ang, hanggang hmm. 2K18, maybe. Um, a glitch player in my glitch team, Houston Rockets. <laughs> so, they still had Patrick Beverly that time. Oh, gosh. Okay. Beverly, Harden, <laughs> um, Ariza... Terrence Jones, um, and Dwight. Dwight Howard? My glitch player was Patrick Beverly because um, I realized, okay, he's a shooter. He's a 3 and D guy. But does the game know that he's only a spot-up shooter? So what I did, outlet pass, rush, pull up for three. Pasok <laughs> lagi. Yeah, there was a time I made three straight. So my brother called the timeout. <laughs> and then he and then he and then he checked he checked Beverly double every time. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. So that made the game easier. I just started giving the ball back to Harden. <laughs> so there. Para kataon lang yon. Na inulit mo. Um, I was doing it. I, I was doing it a lot. He was all. He was always first or second leading scorer. Wow. Yeah, and then I think I think by two K nineteen. He might may have to move the years up and down to be exact. By 2K19, I think. Um, ayan na, my standing three, catch and shoot, or is it off the dribble? Yeah. So there's <laughs> a time I tried to do my typical seven seconds or less Patrick Beverly three-point <laughs> shot. <laughs> Doesn't work. And he got blocked really hard. <laughs> I was playing against, I don't know which brother. But they were both there. Mm. And when they saw Patrick Beverly got blocked really hard, they were like, yes! They were so happy. <laughs> I'm like, Arinig ko yung 7 second or less. Meron akong reklamo sa NBA Live 2006. So, the Phoenix Suns magnificently sucked in that game. <laughs> yes, NBA right. Live 2006. Really? Well, 2006, Maybe. they were doing well. Yes, but yeah. they They were doing in well game. in the real league, pero in yeah. the game, mm-hmm. yeah, to some extent, they're, they're not one of the best. Ang center nil nun, they're big... Their starting center was Amari Stoudemire. Their shooting, their power forward was Sean Marion. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Sean they were essentially Marion. a small, small lineup sa NBA Live 06 non. I I didn't di, di ako aware kung paano sila sa 2K non. Pero sa Live 06, I remember I was excited kasi <laughs> they were sila yung malakas sa team non eh. Ang ganda yeah. ng combination ni Steve, like Steve Nash non, Amari. Then we got uh, Quentin Richardson, you oh, Joe Quentin Johnson, Richardson. Joe Johnson. Yeah. They were oh. so entertaining. Joe, yeah, yes. they were Joe Johnson. Yeah, Boris Diaw. Oh, but back in 06, they suck big time. In the console, in the game, in the game. In yes. the game, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just have, I just have to get it out of the way. <laughs> the game just put a premium on bigs there. Maybe the speed wasn't enough in that sense. Actually, gan- ganun naman nata sa mga video games. Eh, no? Still put emphasis on the big. Eh, kasi it's still their dominance. Uh, it, sa physics kasi, mas matangkad, mas malapad, di ba? Yeah. They're essentially strong. Yeah. Yeah. Glitch player. I'm still trying to think if I had a glitch. Siguro I would go with my favorite. Wala eh. <laughs> Siguro kaya 
uh, yung Phoenix Suns hindi maganda yung rating with those six. Parang they didn't know how to rate them very well because it's a it's a unique roster during were, that time. Uh, they were a glitch in the, 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 the it's, a, it's a glitch, uh, it's a glitch. roster it's a glitch already. Game. Glitch. It's, that's glitch essentially where, where small ball started. Yes. Yeah. That's Previously. also a Mike D'Antoni team. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Which, Previously, by the way, you the... had to have a uh, strong center, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The oh. Sixers want uh, D'Antoni, by the way. Anyway, that's a different story. Okay, that's yeah. a different story. Yep. Different no. story but but still, they wouldn't be the best in the East regardless of who. Well, who's leading now? Miami, we're just kidding. Miami. <laughs> well, that's another topic also. Up, so, up, yeah. up. Celtics will pull off a nuggets. Up. Anyway. Um, <laughs> glitches. Okay, going back to the topic. Glitches. So, I experienced a Madden glitch before. I, I was the one playing. So, my player, a wide receiver, caught the ball. And for some reason, he did not uh, land in the ground. So, parang anong yari? Nag-superman siya from like, let's say, the 10-yard line up okay. until the end zone. <laughs> So, <laughs> 10, 10 yard to end zone. So, 10 yard, parang superman siya. Lumipad, na ganun talaga. Oh, so, ah, oh. so, I threw the ball. Oh. The, the guy, the, the CGI caught it, the, the player. Oh. Tapos, he caught it like diving sana on the ground. Okay. Pero he never ah. touched the ground. So, ah. he floated. Literal so, superman. From, okay. oh, from 10 yards to the end zone. So, they Lipan. ruled it a touch. The game ruled it a touchdown. <laughs> Pero ako, nagulat ako. Lumili, Para sa minumulto. <laughs> Lumili pa yung player ko. I'll take it. You know, it wasn't intentional. I'll take it to six points. Yeah, I scored. Pero, the, 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 uh, the oddness, kumbaga, the peculiarity of it, parang, oh, pwede pala mangyari sa video. Something that doesn't happen in real life, it oh. happens in video games because of the glitches. Oh. Yeah. Glitch players. Sana na replay mo. Pinanood mo sa replay. Hindi ko nga nakunan eh. Oh. Basta <laughs> nag-slide siyang ganyan. Oh. Para siya nag... nag ano diba nang salo niya yung bola pag ganito pa? Nag- Nag-planking mid-air. Nag-outstretch pa yung arms niyang ganyan. <laughs> Tapos 10 te- years siyang nakaganyan. 10 years siyang nakaganyan. <laughs> that would have gone viral. Baka nag-slow mo. Hindi ko alam ko ano nangyari. Basta I just press the forward button ganyan to move. <laughs> it never happened again after that. Hmm. Hindi na, hindi na nangyari. Never uh, happened. Okay, okay. So, it's a uh, once in a blue moon occurrence. So, definitely a glitch. You know? So, siguro na ayos na nila after yung nangyari yun. So, nalaman nila siguro for, from some developer. Mm. Paano nangyari yun? So they yeah, the, Tony, the Tony Hawk, we got it more than once. Oh, we <laughs> just had to look for the corner. Uh, the corner, and then maybe we hit it three times. Maybe. There's a perfect timing for it. Eh. The My perfect timing spot yan. in the... Oh, ganun yeah. Yan. And yeah. I don't know if you have to do something like a heel flip or a jump at the same time into that corner. Mm-hmm. Parang platform nine. But doesn't that break the, the, the spirit of the game? Yeah, but you know, it only happened like three times so it wasn't worth it. There yeah, yeah it does break it, but it's not your fault. Eh. It's, oh, it's really your... a limitation of the game. Eh. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Not unless oh. you look for the corner like Clara does. <laughs> It happened twice, yeah. Because I think mm. that corner was a place where I'd usually do the usual mute, invert, and things. <laughs> okay. okay. So sometimes I, okay, I didn't slow down. I hit the corner. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Then, oh, mm. okay. Uh, why is Tony Hawk in like another world? I thought they did that in per- on purpose. Yeah, Tony, I, Tony, Hawk, he Tony like, Hawk is superhuman, siguro. Yeah. Super. Oh, that's so, so that's yeah. what they want to portray. But their perspective, Claudia, but they did that on purpose. They didn't do that on purpose. They and did naalala- it on purpose. Yeah. Ah, they did it on purpose. Oh. So yeah. that must be the case then sa double dribble. Uh, na, like, where we're all logo lilards. Sa corner trees na yun. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it is a Tony Hawk game. So who knows? Yeah, yeah. he's crazy, man. That it's guy, like the great. The goal. Yeah. Ano yung mga tawag doon? Mga Easter, mga Easter eggs, no? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easter, Easter, yeah. Easter eggs. Yeah. Easter eggs, yeah. One well, thing with 2K, yeah. if I can jump in real quick. If you're the cover boy, I sorry, it was in live. I noticed if you're the cover boy, ang taas ng rating mo. So Isn't that, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's normal, yeah. Like, even I don't, in Madden, uh, I don't super uh, notice it now in 2K because everyone's so beast. But before, like, okay, Gilbert Arenas is more beast in the game than he is in real life. But he was a fun player to use when he was the cover boy. And like, Tracy McGrady was the cover boy too. So I took it. He was in the rocket. So I, I took advantage of it. <laughs> Yeah, that's why they put. That's why they put up a, uh, a big uh, fuss about people being in the cover because they're 
they're yeah, they're rated high. They get boosted a bit. Yeah, yeah. they get boosted. Yeah. yeah. Who's the one in Madden? Yeah. Um, the classic example in Madden before. I'm not sure if you've heard of a player named Peyton Hillis. He was a running back for the Cleveland Browns. He did, he did have uh, one season of greatness, I may say. One great season. And he became a cover of Madden. So when he became cover of Madden, his rating was like in the 90s. But he is largely unheard of. Ah. But, but just because he had one great season, he became cover and then they bumped up his rating. And then after the year... Or like a year or two after he became Madden cover, he was out of the league. So ah, classic really? example, ayan, ng, ano, bumping up the ratings because you're in oh. the cover. Yeah. And then, so, of course, mm-hmm. Zion is just a literal beast because of his bulk. So, so, so dapat pala sa Madden, ginagawang cover buong team, no? Para umayos ang laro. <laughs> Hindi, may curse kasi. Eh. Mas sa club nun eh. Oh. Yeah. Para oh. for, for some reason, the Cleveland Browns, they are not in the cover the entire team pero they always suck when it comes to playing in the field <laughs> so hindi mad in curse yun pero they're in the cover so they're good well Tony Bri- uh, Tony Breeze totally. Drew Breeze was able to break the Madden curse he was yeah. the cover and then they won the Super Bowl mm. during the same that's right yeah, yeah. Uh. so glitch player ako ano eh medyo marami lalo na sa NBA Live ang pinakauna kong glitch player kung naalala nyo tong player na to si Hubert Davis Hubert Diana. Davis uh, New C6 York, uh, New York Knicks. Okay. Ah, ah kasi, yes, yes. Hubert the Davis. thing is about glitch players, you time the release of the button when you're using them, eh, when they're shooting. Mm. So, mm-hmm. for some reason, I got it figured out when it comes to Hubert Davis before. So, na parang you press it for like two point something seconds, release it, and then more often than not, you will convert the three point basket. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, there were, there were games were in. New York next to so kasagsagan ni Patrick Ewing, Hubert Davis Alan would Houston, score like ano pa before before the Houston years. Oh. So Hubert Davis would score like 70 and then Patrick Ewing will have 6 ganyan. 70? <laughs> glitch nga eh, glitch. Oh, oh 70. Oh, you always give the ball. Also. You always give the ball to him, uh, press the shooting button, release it at uh, after like a few seconds and then more often than not you convert the shot. Wow. So, glitch talaga, yun. Glitch talaga, yun ang glitch. Mm. So, that's one. Number two, Trajan Langdon, kung naalala nyo. Ganun din yeah, ang Trajan Langdon sa akin. Yeah, Ganun din. Press the shooting button, release it after a few seconds, and more often than not, pasok. Ayan. So, yun yung mga ano ko na eh. Kaya yung, uh, when we were in high school, we had an NBA uh, live competition sa school. Kami magkakaklase. Oh. They were surprised when I picked Trajan Langdon. Kasi, <laughs> bakit yan? <no? laughs> when I started playing, <laughs> Trajan Langdon had like 60 <laughs> out of the 90 points. <laughs> because he would just stay in one corner, pass him, and then press it, release it after a few seconds, and then boom, pasok. Everyone's mm. like, oh damn, okay. Never so mind. yun. Tapos you yung your choice. Diba? <laughs> my, third, uh, my third glitch player is uh, Adam Morrison. And Bay Live. Ooh. Ganun din. All for the same reason. Press the release, uh, press the shooting button, hold it for a few seconds, release, more, more often than not, pasok. <laughs> so, kay Adam Morrison ako naka ano nun eh. Like, 100 plus points. Nasaan si Adam Morrison nun? Ano ba yun? Charlotte. Ah, okay. Bago pa pumunta ng Lakers. Bago pa pumunta ng Lakers. So, itatambay mo lang siya sa three-point line. Tapos, pipindutin mo yung, I believe it was the circle yata, or the shooting button. Tapos, kay Adam Morrison kasi, ang trick nun, patatalo din mo muna yung character niya. Tapos, at the peak of his jump, tsaka mo i-re-release yung shooting button. Tapos, more often than not, pasok yung Papasok. pira niya. Uh, oh. So, if it was like, yun nga, naka-triple digit score ako kay Adam Morrison nun. Um, <laughs> regular, 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 regular mode. So, uh, a notch higher than rookie. So, sa kanya ko lang binibigay yung bola, didribble ko siya sa gilid, papadribble ko sa gilid. Tapos, same, same uh, sequence release pasok so those got the my... timing right yeah you perfect oh. just got oh, the timing right yeah, yeah perfect the timing yeah. Yeah. so yeah. kaya nga yun nga nakatawa doon kasi with the proper timing somebody like an Adam Morrison who well he had this good years in the NBA pero he not did have his good years he did have his good years Langdon di ba Langdon also yeah, they did have Morrison mm. pero you wouldn't hear them really dominating the score yeah 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 only pero si Langdon had a promising career si Langdon yeah, had a definitely. promising after mm. playing for Duke, diba? Duke siya, diba? 
Yeah. He had a very promising uh, career. Hindi lang at hindi lang yeah, it didn't, I mean his playing years didn't really work out, but yeah. he had a promising career. So yun yung mga glitch players ko noon. So yeah. gulat sila noon when I picked Trajan lang doon sa draft. Parang <laughs> ano pa yun na um the likes of like John Starks was still available ganyan. Wow. Bakit sa Trajan lang doon parang? <laughs> <laughs> they oh, they yeah. found out the hard way. Wow. <laughs> when you six drop points, 60 on them. Uh. Oh. Yeah. 60 also, with just one player. NBA Live 06 oh, 7 8. General glitch. Just give the ball to a decent three point shooter. I think this applied at least for rookie and starter. When they're recl- when they're they're going up for the release, put point the analog stick, left analog stick. Towards the basket, that will sh- that shot will go in like ninety five percent of the time. <laughs> mm. <laughs> lean, it's like a leaner mm. in oh. that situation. So you keep playing like, up, uh, do that. Point the analog stick at the basket, bucket. <laughs> but, yeah. Now talking about those three pointers, I remember another one. Uh, balik lang lahat eh. There's this there's an NBA video game back in the nineties pa na meron ding glitch na ganyan pagdating sa three-pointers. And that guy happened to be Nick Anderson. Eh, magaling naman mag-shoot si Nick oh, Anderson. Pero, yeah, except for free throws. Game, oh. on that, oh, Orlando on that Magic. Game, yung pangalam mo lang maririg niya, nasa, eh, Japanese ano pin, it's a Japanese uh, NBA arcade game. Okay. So, yung accent pa niya talaga, Japanese, Anderson! <laughs> Walang R. Anderson? Siga, Anderson! <laughs> Tapos, Swish, tapos sisigaw yung mga tao. It's like anywhere in that three-point area. Yeah, but he was yun. good. Three-point oh. shooter, diba? Nick Anderson? Oh, yun nga eh. Uh, he was a good three-point shooter, but it's not a good free-throw shooter. <laughs> and Shaq will attest to that oh. all the time. Kailangan mo yung three points, diba? Ay, yung free-throw, yung ring, kailangan pang yung bumaba dun sa ano. Oh yeah, that's double <laughs> dribble. Oh, oh that's yeah, double diba? dribble. Hindi ka lang, hintayin mo pa. <laughs> and, the, the early versions of NBA Live pag free throw, yung parang may arrow na nagsisling oh, left arrow. and right. Yes. Eh, no? Left and right, mm. up and down. Up and down. Oh. Ang, pinakamahi- <laughs> ang pinakamahirap sa akin na free throw, ayan, before we jump into our final topic, yung ba, ano, masingit lang. Ang pinakamahirap sa akin na free throw, yung sa NBA uh, 2K. Oh. Parang, ano ba yun, Sega Dreamcast. So what you do is, there are like two buttons at the back of the controller. Tapos you have to line both arrows into yeah. oh yo no yeah. the, the yeah. hoop oh. that was so, hard was during during the first times parang lagi nakabaligo yung left arrow kaya right so i, I, I never got the yeah. the seek the oh. the proper combination yun yung pinakamahirap para sa akin na free throw I never got it too when's a video game yeah. Yeah. Di, nga, di mo maintindihan yung mga arrow na yun. ano ba gagawin mo dito oh di ba Pero nga yung once you were able to figure it out, para I'm yeah, you got it already. I'm one hundred percent free throw shooter. Yeah. Even a check. But the trick of it is you don't press it too hard. Eh. Parang it's a Ever balance so between likely. the two. Uh, oh. Balance lang nung dalawa. Ayan. Agree, agree. I agree. <laughs> so now that we're discussing, we've, we've devoted an hour in in terms of fighting games, sports video games, and uh, everything in between. Now, we really have a stable and we should say an up-and-coming, burgeoning, blossoming esports scene. Not just in NBA 2K, but also in Tekken and other games like Mobile Legends. Even StarCraft, it's still in the esports scene. And of course, Dota. Yeah. Uh, it's now a medal sport, by the way. Game. The games that we played <laughs> leisurely before, there are now people making a living out of it and are being millionario of magiging millionario <laughs> and are being hailed as national athletes because of the games so the, in your wildest dreams did you imagine this day happening and how do you see the the esports uh, scene moving forward did i see it happening i saw a lot of the competitions yeah yeah, uh, Tech and Street Fighter, but even Counter Strike. Remember when Counter Strike was like it was so the thing? Yeah, it was yeah. The thing. there was already con- there was already contests and um and you cut you cut classes because of cut, that. yeah people oh. cut classes to go 
uh, exhibit A, Lance would do that. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think I saw it coming, but I did not know it was going to be this big. I didn't mm. know it was going to be a metal sport. Um, and I didn't know it was going to be this phenomenal, right? So uh, kudos to them. Galing, national sport. And they're, they're you know, it is um, something to be respected, I guess. No, it takes a lot of respect, if, cause especially if you're, you're like an athlete like myself. Because when you're sports, you need an athlete, eh? physical. But you know, uh, esports is is mine. You, you think here, eh? so it's also it's also considered a a, a sport of the mind, right? thinking. Mm-hmm. So I I enjoy it. I you know I'm gonna have to start watching it. You know, uh, especially Tekken. You know, even the commentary and all that. Uh, trying to understand it, it's it's fun watching watching Tekken, but the the rest of the other esports that you mentioned, like Dota, was it what, what, Mobile Legends, you know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to try to understand it more. Uh, but like I said, I didn't know it was gonna be this phenomenal, this this big phenomenon, you know, that it became a metal sport, you know, and is being backed up by so many sponsors. Back yeah, up. big mm. time, big time. So, uh, I guess where technology helped a lot as well. Mm-hmm. I think technology is helping them. They got a lot of backing. So, yeah, I didn't know. Like I said, I didn't know it was gonna be this mm-hmm. this big. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Clara? I something? agree because first, it's nice that it developed into what it is today, and you can get a career out of video games, esports. Because growing up, they're like, oh yeah, video games are bad. Don't do too much <laughs> of that. That's how it was. But I'm glad that the, f- the switch was flipped. And especially now in the pandemic, esports still gets to continue. Mm-hmm. They still have their tournaments and you can play from home. So that's really cool. Um, speaking of esports also, um, F1. Motorsports is like the closest you can get. Motorsports and e-motorsports is the closest you can get. You're sitting in a rig with a steering wheel gas pedal and everything yeah mm-hmm. um, mm. it, I, I, there's an exact term but you you really augmented see the, reality yeah yeah that's it's they are as close as it gets mm. already and when this lockdown started globally the australian grand prix formula one was called off so some driver said okay let's go to our homes and let's hold the online grand prix Wow, so that's yeah. what they did, mm, nice. and then eventually mm. it carried over. It picked up. Yes. You see, you see F1 drivers like Lando Norris competing, and then all of a sudden, he's racing with Sergio Aguero. <laughs> Those <laughs> guys <the> joined. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Courtois, Thibaut Courtois joined. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He joined. It was really cool. You see how it's how it's grown. It's people have also gotten a career out of it. Right, you have a draft. Right. The F1 teams field their own esports teams and they have a draft. They draft pros who do not yet pros, they draft people who do well. Wow, okay, I didn't know that. No, really, yeah, huh? yeah. And some people who do well in e- in you know, esports F1, some of them end up getting drives, they end up going to like Formula 3 and wow. all the, the lower levels. And really? it's another path, it's another path to enter the sport, we could say. Nice. That's good. Is there is there a, a, like a co- big competition or it started because of the pandemic? Oh, there is a big competition before pa. Before pa. So what ah, wasn't okay. what wasn't fair was the guys who were winning were really pro esports drivers because they knew the ins and outs. Mm-hmm. Oh, There's some okay. things that work in the video game, but they don't work in real life. Oh, okay. Dun naluge yung F1 yeah. drivers. Oh. Yeah. What about the the laps? Did they follow the laps of the? Oh, para endurance ano din ba siya? Or, or was it a made up lap? Oh, I know that they did a full distance in the beginning. So it was like like in the before the when we would play there would be like F1 would be Italy it's a, stra- a straight line etc. Yes. But you could still change your <laughs> Diba? I remember that it was Italy was a straight uh, line. I remember yeah. that and I loved it because it was a, it was I, I didn't have to turn or anything. Yeah, yeah, go, but, uh, it was a straight line. Italy was a straight line but just like an oval ganun lang yun, eh. Yeah, oval <laughs> yes. the indie I love the but, track. but in the F1 Sport esports, can you create your own lap? Do they create their own lap or they really follow the laps that is in the let's say in in spa or uh yeah in, in the in the number of laps in the race distance? Yeah, number of laps. 
um they started out they did the full distance so the ones so who ended up winning um it's about an hour and a half oh yeah and then what they ended up doing they they cut it to two races ah okay rather than they, another they, they ended up cutting it to two races so that there's more action because if you were doing the full distance wala yon lamang yung esports and f1 drivers because of their mental sharpness. Like Mario Kart na lang sila, no? Oh, oh I like to see that also. Yeah. But you see, you see the F1 drivers. Oh, like, yeah, like Lando Norris and stuff. They yeah. they stream on Twitch and they play like Fall Guys and things like that. Wow. So they all they also play these. They Mario go beyond. Kart na sila, Yoshi. Oh, Mario Kart, babatuhan pa sila. May, yeah. may Mario Kart na ulit sa Android. Oh, yeah. um, I just saw it. Few days yeah. ago, yeah, yeah, those twists of Mario Kart, de ba? <laughs> so for the for the e racing, they also factor in pit stops. My, my pit stops, ba? I think they were doing pit stops. Is that correct? Oh, no, Sorry, no, para sila ano? Uh, well, they no, have to look para sila Gran Turismo talaga na real simulation. Yes, yes. The F1 oh. game is isn't as realistic as Gran Turismo, but they're getting there. But it is a complicated and technical video game already that you need to spend time. You have to be um, inside learning. the car. You have to be inside the car. The kit. You do, like that. Yeah. yeah. You can't really get the full experience when you play with a controller. That's why uh-huh. I'm tempted yeah, to rig get talaga. a rig. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kailang may rig talaga. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What about you, Jay? Your thoughts about uh, the esports scene and how it has uh, grown over uh-huh. the years? Well, actually, kanina sinabi ni Claudia na kakrating classes ka daw, no? Just to play video games. <laughs> I have to include no. myself on that one. Di ako mapasok sa klase para lang mag- mag- maglaro ng Dota kasama yung mga kaklase ko. So, pag wala yung buong klase, kasi nagdodota, di wala na talagang klase, di ba? So, but the thing is, nakita ko, nakita ko to first hand eh. It's actually an untapped market back then. Uh, sabi natin 10 years ago, na marami talagang naglalaro. It's just that they're not really taking that, taking it seriously. Like right now. Hmm. So, maraming magagaling talaga na hindi lang nakikita kasi nga, there's no platform to show it. So, whoever, kung sino man yung nagpaumpisa nito, is masasabing isang bayani. Kasi, ang dami na nga eh, di ba? Madami, ta- madami na tayo nakilala, madami ng umusbong. And a lot of people already are setting their sights or parang changing their sabi natin yung mindset sila or changing their perspective with regards to see with regards to, to e-sports because suddenly right now it's actually considered a sport which is rightfully so naman if anything one thing i did not expect though is the money that's going to be involved in this sport diba na sobra 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 laki imagine dun sa The international, diba? Magkano yeah. yung price pool doon? So in, my goodness. It's in the billions already. It's like two pesos, oh. ha? Oh. Pag nanalo ka doon, suddenly you get it. Pag nanalo ka doon, parang in an instant, makakasama ka sa Forbes richest person in the world, <laughs> eh, diba? Because of that kind of, that kind of amount of money that you're gonna get if you win if you win it all, diba? So, doon lang ako nag... If there's anything... Doon lang ako nagulat doon sa laki ng pera na bubuhos dito sa e-sport. Right then and there, doon sa doon pa lang sa actual pag-usbong niya. 'Di ba? Usually ang mga pag-normal na sport, 'di ba? If there's an emerging sport, money is hard to come by, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. They have to really work hard just to get money flowing in, pumasok mga sponsors, pumasok mga corporations just to put money in the sport niyan. But with esports, no. The the first year na umusbong esports, the first okay, I'm gonna have to stop you because of, I don't know what that usbong word is. I'm just trying to okay, ding 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 <laughs> usbong Usbong say like growth maybe oh, Should I yeah. use it in a sentence? To come out To come out Or yeah Or To be released 
maybe that's 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 my you know what what's yours claro like growth growth mine is or to smoke out like uh, to <laughs> smoke oh, that, that counts as copying an answer huh? think, <laughs> you asked me think, what my answer was i think there's no need to use it for a sentence yeah i guess they were able to understand naman jay uh and the literal meaning of usbong is like coming off the ground eh? something like yes. that yo so growth uh, so, but what, but what? Uh, growth and the uh, what you mentioned Claudia it's uh, within the acceptable reason so, uh, <laughs> so ayun I said it like three times I'm like I don't know oh. <laughs> 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 the first time pala not the first time pala nagbasa <laughs> uh, <laughs> may isa pang sinabi si Lance kanina pero ignore ko parang okay never mind keep going <laughs> If so, only I can remember what that word is. That's okay, uh, but uh, Jay continue. So yun lang. Oh, yun lang. You just that's that. That's the thing I didn't expect with esports. Na just like in the first year, second year, boom. There's a lot of cash involved already. Yeah. And I think it's amazing for the sport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ako ano? This a parting shot. Uh, the thing about esports, it's uh, a mental aspect of being an athlete. Eh. So you don't really have to train train physically, and I guess that's where its innate uh, appeal lies. You don't have to be six five. You don't have to have bulky yes. bodies. As long as you understand the game, you know its strategy. You use it to your advantage. You can win. So that's where its inherent appeal lies. That's why even uh, meron ngang uh, game streamer ang Mobile Legends na Lola Gaming. So the Lola <laughs> streams the game of Mobile Legends live on Facebook to watch wow. their apos to play. Lola. They, uh, no, she for, for people down. for people to watch. So, so while they're playing, uh, Lola, like grandma, like grandma. Uh, there's a grandma who is playing Mobile Legends and streaming it live on Facebook, and she has a good following, like thousands of viewers. It's so it's a it's a it's a Lola, a, like a Lola yes. gamer. Like wow. a Lola. Tinuro, yeah. Siya naglalaro talaga. Yeah. Oh wow. She's the one playing. So. <laughs> That's where the inherent uh, beauty of esports lies. Eh. I should tell my Everybody mom. Everybody can start. Everybody <laughs> can start playing mm. the games. But wow. the the pro ones, they are really the ones who devote countless hours in perfecting their craft in the sports. And like, a lot of internet and good. And a lot of internet connection. They really have boot camps, by the way. Uh, these teams, they uh, they converge in one house, live there for months, mm. and this learn everything about the game. They play for like 10, 12 hours and then they sleep. What? They wake up in the morning, they strategize again, see where their loopholes at. Especially for Dota, a game that long, imagine the strategy that goes Super strategy one game. game. Dota. It can go It's, for hours. Yes, it may uh, seem so lifeless, pero do sa mga Cobra. players, sa mga mm-hmm. players na yun, it's heaven for them. If you can just uh, have a peek on their audio while they're playing, sobrang daming sigawan niyan. Punta ka doon, punta ka diyan. O sa mid, <laughs> sa mid may ano, may creeps. Ngayon, okay 10 seconds bago umusbong yung ganito. Stand, stand, stand. <laughs> oh, ganyan 'yan. That's how they call shots in esports, especially those types of games, the team wow. game. Oh, um, I should really start watching this. Okay. Oh, really yeah, quick. Definitely. Before naging also yung streaming and audio when I used to play, you you see a bunch of boys in the internet cafe. He's in unit number 30. Tapos yung kabarkada niya. Nandun sa malayo. One to five. One to five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it gets really noisy and then I can hear all the old yeah. people around us getting That was really my life 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, gagalit siya pag si Jed dumo, dumaan. Pag counter strike oh. Batuhan mo ng flashbang! Oh, Batuhan mo! <laughs> sa bridge, sa bridge! Sa bridge, dun sila, dun sila nagkakonverge. Kasi ba't ka namatay? Bot, bot. Down, down. Oh yeah, those were Mid. lists. But now, yeah, you can really make a living out of it. Uh, I believe it's just a perfect storm for esports. It has been there for years. Yeah. But we have come to a point in time wherein we really cannot live without technology. And it's really an integral part of our lives. Mm-hmm. It was just escalated now during the pandemic wherein there were no sports like basketball and volleyball and the likes that more people tuned in to esports. There's this one game in the Mobile Legends Professional League, MPL, wherein it was watched by thousands of people, the live stream. Like 300,000 if I'm wow. not mistaken, just for one game 
of esports. So the audience is there, and the money is starting to flow because of the advertisers. So we can only we can only hope, or we can only figure out where else esports will go. More more games will come out, of course. More disciplines will be learned, and um, I guess if it becomes an Olympic sport eventually, like billiards, well, we have a shot at Olympic gold if it becomes an Olympic sport. Sa yeah. so, as long as we don't have our typical uh, ugali sa pagnaglalaro ng games na wherein we criticize and we say bad things about the opponents. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Boxing. so it's good to have this uh, trip down memory lane, so to speak, about <laughs> sports, video games, fighting games, and of course, uh, what we look forward to in the esports oh. scene. We esports episode that... ba natin to? Ito klase ng esports natin eh, no? <laughs> It's a bunch of everything oh. uh, from the old sports to esports and oh. the likes. Eh? So uh, it's just nice to be able to look back in those games and mm. see where the gaming industry and it's now a sport has evolved and things are looking up for the scene. And uh, speaking of games, so we've mentioned for the love of the game earlier, so we're also mentioning the other podcasts of the other mm-hmm. UP's uh, Broadcasting Academy graduates that are currently in development or are currently doing their episodes. So Bounce Pass with Coach Mike Perez, Standing Room Only with Javi Palanya and the rest of the UP boys. Mm-hmm. We have Sports Nook, Isa Chong, and uh, Mike. And uh, we forgot last week, Laro-Laro lang with Farley, Noy Africa, <laughs> Joel, uh, Joel uh, Gary Villanueva, and Irvin Awitin, uh, the OGs. Shout out <laughs> to you guys. And we have two podcasts na medyo magkapareho ng pangalan, Couch Potito and Couch Pautito, Gold Diggers <laughs> PH, and uh, Game Na with uh, George Rocha mm. Chu. And also the OGs of Studio 23. Sila sila yun eh. So, <laughs> shout out to all of you guys. Uh, let's mm. all uh, keep uh, feeding our passion, which is sports, through the podcast and the shows yeah. that we uh, de- continue to develop. So, this has been another episode of Who the Heck Are We? So, we have just reviewed video games, sports video games, and the esports of burgeoning scene. And for now, all I can say is game over. Laro na tayo!